Greetings to seekers of wisdom. Today, I bring you a tale that holds the essence of profound teaching. In this story, a young herbalist named Li Mei embarks on a transformative journey guided by a wise and compassionate Zen master. Together, they unravel the importance of three things never to sacrifice in life for anyone. Through vivid examples and insightful quotes, we'll explore the power of integrity, compassion, and our connection with nature. Join me as we delve into this enlightening story and discover how these timeless lessons can enrich your own. Once upon a time in a peaceful village, nestled in the beautiful mountains of ancient China, a kind-hearted young woman named Li Miyai lived. Lami was loved by everyone in the village for her gentle nature and willingness to help others. One day, a wealthy and powerful man named Xu Chen set his eyes on the village's land. He wanted to take it for his own selfish desires. Filled with determination, Xu Chen began pressuring the villagers to sell their homes and land. He used fear and intimidation to get what he wanted. The villagers were torn between their love for their land and their fear of standing up against Xiu Chen. They didn't know what to do or how to protect their homes. Lai Mei, seeing the distress of her fellow villagers, decided to seek guidance from the wise Zen master who lived high in the mountains. She embarked on a journey to the Zen master's hermitage surrounded by the beauty of nature. After a long and arduous climb, Li Mei reached the Zen master's humble abode. With a heart full of questions and worries, she poured out her concerns to the wise sage. The Zen master listened attentively, his eyes filled with compassion. My dear Li Mei, the Zen master began, I understand your worries and the struggles of your people. However, let me share with you a story that may shed light on the importance of integrity, especially in times of great challenge. He continued once, there was a merchant who, like Xu Chen, desired great wealth and power. In pursuit of his own desires, the merchant began to compromise his integrity. He cheated his customers, manipulated others, and took advantage of people's trust. Lai Mei listened intently, her eyes wide with curiosity. But as the merchant grew richer, he realized that his wealth came at a great cost, the Zen master explained. He had lost the respect of his community, and his heart felt empty. He had sacrificed his integrity, and with it, his peace and happiness. Lai Mei reflected on the story and understood the profound message within. She looked at the Zen master's eyes and asked, but how can we protect our village and ourselves from the likes of Xi Chen? How can we hold on to our integrity in difficult times? The Zen master smiled kindly and shared a quote from the great philosopher Confucius, Wisdom, compassion, and courage are the three universally recognized moral qualities of humankind. He explained, Integrity means staying true to your values no matter the circumstances. It means choosing wisdom over greed, compassion over selfishness, and courage over fear. Protect your village not just with physical strength, but with the strength of your character. Lamei's eyes lit up with newfound clarity as she realized the importance of integrity in their battle against Xi Chen. She thanked the Zen master for his profound wisdom and set off on her journey back to the village. Armed with the teachings of the Zen master, Li Mei returned to her village, determined to inspire and empower her fellow villagers. She gathered them together and shared the story of the merchant, emphasizing the need to remain steadfast in their integrity. Together, the villagers realized that no amount of material gain was worth sacrificing their values and their connection to their land. They vowed to stand united against Xiu Chen, ready to face any challenges that came their way. And so, the first chapter of Li Mei's journey comes to a close, but the seeds of integrity have been planted in the hearts of the villagers. They are ready to face the trials ahead, knowing that integrity will guide them towards a brighter and more fulfilling future. With their spirits uplifted by the teachings of the Zen master, Li Mei and the villagers began the great task of cultivating compassion within themselves and their community. They understood that compassion was not just about feeling sorry for others, but about taking action and showing kindness. 
Lai Mei started by organizing a meeting where she shared stories and quotes about compassion from the Zen master. One of the stories she shared was about a young wanderer who had lost his compassion after witnessing the cruelty of the world. The Zen master had explained that compassion was not about fixing every problem or taking away all the suffering in the world. Instead, it was about offering support, understanding, and love to those in need. Inspired by the teachings, Li Mei initiated a community project called the Helping Hands. The villagers came together to provide assistance to the less fortunate, the elderly, and those who were sick. They offered their time, resources, and kind words to uplift those who were struggling. Lai Mi also stressed the importance of self-care and self-compassion. She encouraged the villagers to take time for themselves, to rest, and to nourish their own hearts and minds. The Zen master's words echoed in her voice as she recited another quote. If you truly loved yourself, you could never hurt another. Under Li Mei's guidance, the villagers learned to be gentle with themselves and to extend that gentleness to others. They created a harmonious atmosphere in the village, filled with understanding, empathy, and respect. The news of the compassionate village spread like wildfire reaching neighboring communities. People who had lost their hope and were burdened by suffering flocked to the village seeking solace and comfort. They found open hearts and willing hands, receiving support and care from the villagers. One by one, the villagers discovered that the more they gave, the more their own hearts were filled with love and compassion. The cycle of kindness continued to grow and expand, resulting in a community that thrived on empathy and unity. As time went on, Li Mei became known as the heart of the village. Her deeds and teachings touched the lives of many far and wide. People looked up to her for guidance, not only in times of hardship, but in everyday life. In the final gathering, Li Mei stood before the villagers, her eyes shining with gratitude and joy. She thanked them for embracing the teachings of the Zen master and for embodying compassion in their daily lives. She reminded them of the profound impact they had made not only within their village but in the world beyond. With tear-filled eyes, the villagers expressed their gratitude to Li Mei for leading them on this transformative journey. They realized that together, they had created a community that stood as a shining example of love, unity, and compassion. As the sun began to set on this chapter of their lives, Li Mei and the villagers held each other in a heartfelt embrace. Their bonds strengthened by the shared experiences of integrity and compassion, they knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them together. And so, the story of Li Mei and the villagers came to a close, but the impact of their actions and the teachings of the Zen master would live on in the hearts and minds. Dear seekers of wisdom, we have reached the conclusion of this enlightening tale. Throughout Li Mei's journey, guided by the wisdom of the Zen Master, we have learned the importance of three things never to sacrifice in life, integrity, compassion, and our connection to nature. Integrity teaches us to stay true to our values even in the face of challenges. It reminds us that material gain is not worth sacrificing our principles. As Confucius said, wisdom, compassion, and courage are the three universally recognized moral qualities of humankind. Compassion goes beyond feeling sorry for others. It is about taking action and showing kindness. Like the villagers in our story, we can cultivate compassion by offering support and understanding to those in need. Remember, if we truly love ourselves, we could never hurt another. Finally, our connection to nature brings us strength and inspiration. Just as Li Mi's village flourished through its connection to the land, we too can nurture our bond with nature. Take time to appreciate the beauty around you and find solace and peace in its embrace. So, dear seekers, I invite you to apply these teachings in your own lives. Make choices that align with your values, show compassion to those around you, and cherish your connection to nature. By doing so, you will create a life filled with integrity, love, and peace. May your journey be filled with wisdom 
and may you inspire others with your shining light.